Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. Very excited about this video today. I'm gonna do a small upgrade that pays big dividends. And what I mean by that is the functionality I'm gonna get out of this is ginormous, okay, it's huge. So this is something that I've been looking for for a long time and actually thought of, well, how could I fabricate something for myself on this? And then uh, the guys from Troll and Fine reached out to me and said, hey, would you like to try out one of our products? and I saw what it was and I said, you know what, this is perfect timing. I actually have been looking for this myself and trying to solve for this issue. And of course, we're talking about the Pelican Bass Raider behind me. If you have a Bass Raider or any type of maybe inflatable boat, you don't really have a natural place to store your fish finder. And as a result, I have kept my fish finder on the floor of my boat, right tucked down in this corner next to the battery. I've got her all stripped down right now, bare bones. I had to clean her up a bit. That's why nothing's in here. So I've got her bare bones, but this is where I keep my battery. And I normally just have the fish finder down on the floor, which is fine. It's worked for me that way for about three years now, but I always wanted it raised up to where I could see it better, be able to see the screen. This is only a four inch screen. It allows me to press the buttons and do whatever I need to do. And with this, the fish finder will be pretty much at waist level. And I've never had that before. A huge upgrade with just a small piece of equipment that we're gonna install right now. So in the end, I'm gonna get my trolling motor up off the floor of the boat, all the way up top. And I'll probably install it somewhere about here. So this will be about waist high as I'm using the trolling motor which will be a huge, huge improvement. So I've already got this thing unboxed. What you get in the package, let me show you. So this is the Troll and Fine Universal Mount Kit. And this is the, for the Garmin Striker 4, this is kit number 11. So when you go on their website, if you have the Striker 4, this is actually the Striker 4 Plus, same thing. You would uh, look to get kit number 11. Inside the packaging, you get a couple things. And this is the beauty right here. This is what they put together. This is the main attraction. This is what will hold the fish finder. We'll get into that in a second. They also send you a transducer mount if you need to mount your transducer as well to your trolling motor. And it comes with clips and everything you need, even have an additional clip right here. And it looks like I've got a wire tie, some kind of wire clip as well that I can use. I'm not sure where this goes right now, and I don't think I'll necessarily need it. So it's very simple and plain and to the point. This is pretty well made, lightweight material. Looks like it's watertight sealed. It has the hardware already included that you'll need to mount it to your trolling motor. And what I really love about this also is there are pre-drill holes. You've got hole patterns drilled out, depending on what fish finder you have, will fit these pre-drill holes. So I'll be using the ones that are for the Garmin Striker 4. And if you don't know, just hold it up there and you'll see it, but you'll see me do it in this video. So I've got my Garmin right here. Of course you'll need that and everything else you need should have come with your fish finder already with the garmin 4 they do give you a mount for it and what's funny is i've never used it but i've had this for over three years but i held on to it and figuring you know at some point i might need it i don't know what i'll need it for but i might but i'm surely happy that i kept it because this is exactly what i need and it's key to complete this installation so i've got this mount came with the garmin it does pivot and i'm going to use the hardware that came with the garmin as well i've got three screws in here that i will use to mount it to the mount so first thing you want to do is remove the base of the mount there's a little lever right here just press it down and slide this out okay this is the base this is what you want to install onto the mount so in this pattern for the Striker 4, it's the three inside holes. And if you're ever in doubt, just reach out to the guys over at Troll and Find. They actually have a, a PDF picture that they can just email to you that has the hole patterns highlighted based on your finder. So no thinking involved here. So we're gonna simply put the base, line it up to those three holes, and I'm gonna get the three screws out of here that I need. If you don't know, or maybe you lost your screws, you've had your finder for a number of years like I have, and you don't have the screws anymore, the screws that are made for this mount are the number eight sheet metal screws. And these screws are about half, it looks like a half inch screw right here, which after you sink it down into here, you can see how much is left over to go down in the mount. All right, so got a good amount. You could probably use a three quarter inch screw and still have, and it still won't poke out the bottom. Something like that. I know I'm not pushing it all the way in, so don't, this isn't exact to scale. 
but these are half inch and that's what I'm going with. And I am gonna hand screw these in, not using any power tools this time, because I wanna feel the tension. I don't wanna strip these holes out whatsoever. Sometimes you just gotta go old school with a good old screwdriver and get it done. And guys, this is super simple. This will take all of 10 minutes to set up and you're out on the water. All the work was already done by Troll and Fine. It makes it totally simple and easy. All right, so tighten these down. Be careful not to strip out any of these holes. All right, there we go. From here, slide this back in, clicks in place. Garmin slides on there like that. Just clicks in place. It's pretty cool. I've had this Garmin forever and I've never used this mount. So pretty awesome to put it to good use. Garmin pops right back off. And next we're just gonna install this onto the Bass Raider. Sorry, my lighting is not the greatest for this shot, but you guys will get the idea. There you have it, it's on there. So for the most exciting part is to get the finder on here. And I'm sure I'll have this tilted up some. I'll get the right angle on the water tomorrow. But that's it guys, that's what it looks like. And yeah, <laughs> I am super excited about this to have my fish finder elevated. That's what we want right there so right now i have it installed on the right hand side that's just my guess if it doesn't feel natural on the right i can always move it to the left because the trolling motor can do a 360 in the mount so you have the ability to put it left mount or right so i just use the screws again that came with it everything is there with the kit nice and easy very simple install and it fit with the wires that I already have zip tied there. Just snuck it right underneath those wires. Easy breezy. All right, with that being said, let's get on the water. This looks awesome. I've had this boat five seasons now, and I know I said three earlier, and I've always had my fish finder down on the floor of the boat. So to see what's on the finder, I've always had to look down the whole time. When I'm standing, the top of the finder is about waist height, and I'm six foot one, so that's a really good height, brings it up much higher to eye level, makes it a lot easier to see. And if I wanted to, I could actually raise this up a little bit higher. I've got about, I don't know if I wanted to a good four to five inches, I could raise this up as well if I wanted to. I like this, the fish finder stays with me as I'm using the motor, the screen is visible. I mean, the functionality just goes off the chart at this point compared to having it on the floor of the boat. And even if you install it down, I know some people do install their finders and drills holes in their plastic boat and mounts it on the rail, but having the troll and fine mount definitely is sauce for that you no longer have to be faced with that decision. And some people just don't have the option to drill holes in their boat, especially if you have an inflatable boat. Not a good idea. So time has passed since I did the initial install. It's been a few weeks and I've actually had the chance to run this boat around for a good nine hours, scanning for fish, testing it out, seeing how it feels. And again, just brings it up to eye level, which is awesome. That's the number one thing. You know, fishing nine, 10 hour, even 12 hour days, looking down at your fish finder, that's a heavy strain on your neck and can pay a toll over time and can also shorten your fishing day. Trying to see a graph clearly, especially a four inch screen like this Garmin Striker 4, it can be difficult to see. And sometimes I do have to pick it up to actually see some of the details on the screen. And this definitely sauce for that. And face it guys, you don't wanna be staring down and not looking up, not paying attention. It's almost happened to me. I'm sure it's happened to a lot of other people out there and you're almost crashing into another boat or hitting, running into the bank, something like that. Just with my experience on this boat over the years, this being a 10 foot boat, sometimes I'm trying to show my brother what's on the finder and he can't see it. 
and I got to lift it up and do all that kind of stuff and having it elevated like this makes it easier for my brother to see or any co-angle in the boat for that matter. And this is a permanent solution. This allows you to mount your fish finder on your trolling motor permanently. You don't have to take it off after each trip. It stays right on. It's easy to unload out your car and at the end of the day everything stays together nice and easy or you can grab everything and go and just drop everything back in your car. I definitely see how the troll and find mount can solve the problem of how to install a fish find on a variety of boats. Whether you have a pelican bass raider like this boat right here, a pond prowler, john boat, an inflatable boat, canoes or kayaks, I think this is a great way to go. Also a good thing to note is that the troll and find fish find mount works great for both the Minn Kota and the Motor Guide handheld tiller motors. And for all you technical guys out there, one of the questions I had was, what is this thing made out of? The mount's actually made out of PETG. It's a thermoplastic polyester. This is commonly used with a lot of manufacturing. So it's made with pretty strong and durable material. And guys, just to give you some background information, the owner and creator of the Troll and Fine Fish Finder mount Darren is a full-time CAD engineer. He has tons of experience designing plastic molds and parts. If you go on their website, you'll see a bunch of things from engine parts. I mean, you name it, this guy knows how to do it. So he brings a lot of experience to the table. All of his designs and 3D printing are done right here in the US in Indiana. The whole idea for this mount was birthed from his own experience out in the water. Darren is an angler just like the rest of us. He works and goes fishing. And this mount was actually birthed from his own personal experience on his inflatable boat where he needed to find a solution for mounting his fish finder. After designing it and putting it through the test, he actually used this thing for several years. He then decided to offer it to the public. These kits can be purchased on their Etsy store, which I will link in the video description below. And I'll also link their website. For me personally, I am super excited about this mount. I've been looking for something like this for a long time. I did my own research, wasn't quite finding what I was looking for. So when I was contacted and given the opportunity to feature this on the channel. I said, man, I am going to do it, especially after trying it out. I mean, proof is in the pudding. You don't really know until you try it. And for me to you, take my word for it. This is an excellent product right here. So I'm going to get to some more fishing. Don't forget, check their website, check their Etsy store. Everything will be linked below. When you get on there, look for the kit that fits your fish finder. Place your order. Darren will get it out to you ASAP and enjoy the upgrade. It's working out great for me. I'm super stoked to have it on the Pelican Bass Raider. All right, I'm about to get on the fall bite. Don't forget, leave a comment, like, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment below. If I don't have the answer, I will get the answer for you in the comments. All our contact information is in the description below as well. You can send us an email if you don't wanna leave a comment with your questions, just email them to us and we'll get right back to you. We'll see you on the next video.